When Hughes first started attending USC in 1954, he decided to follow his high school friends and join a fraternity. The principal thing about Phi Psi was that you had immediately had a hundred uh, friends. Uh, when you go to the university, uh, uh, at least for myself, you feel a little bit lost. So the fraternity uh, filled a big need. It was, a, it was a really good experience, and mostly it was a camaraderie of the people. Uh, a lot of the people that were fraternity brothers uh, are still close personal friends of mine. Sometime after college, Hughes discovered that renting out storage units was a very profitable business. So in 1972, he and partner Kenneth Volk invested $50,000 into a new business, public storage. I mean, we knew immediately that we had something uh, pretty good. I mean, it's, it, just think about it for a little while. It rents uh, for about the same amount per square foot at the time as a, an apartment building. We don't have a, any carpets or drapes or plumbing to go wrong or anything else. And the maintenance is uh, virtually uh, zero. And uh, the buildings last uh, virtually forever. It's a real, it's a real good, really good business. Today, public storage operates over 2,100 self-storage facilities across the United States and rents out approximately 135 million net square feet of space. In 2002, Hughes left behind the day-to-day -day operations of public storage. Two years later, he bought the historic Spendthrift Horse Farm in Lexington, Kentucky. My father, uh, you know, he liked the horses and uh, he would go to the racetrack and gamble a little bit, uh, not much, but some. And, uh, so I think it probably came, uh, began there. The Spinthrift Farm is uh, right at uh, 800 acres. It's a breeding operation. Uh, we have uh, four stallions here. We breed the mares and other people's mares too. People from all over the world come here to buy horses. I mean, this is the international center for thoroughbred racing. It's more intellectual than you would think because uh, picking the matings for your mares is a big time job. It's the darndest business that you can possibly imagine.